I, uh, I, I have to admit, friends, I, I, love, I love my job, and I love everything about my job. One of the cool things about my job is you get to do what you want. I love telling stories my whole life. I always sit around a campfire and have my dad or my brother or my uncle someone tell a campfire story. And I had a story come across my world when I was in school, and I want to share it with you. We had something in my school called Multicultural Days. That's where people from around the world uh, would come to my school and tell us about their way of life. But people from every continent uh, come to us except for Antarctica, because no one really lives there. <laughs> except for um, the day that changed my life is the day the man from Japan came to my school. And he showed my classmates and me this. Uh, this is called a Tamasudare, Tamasudare, translated roughly from Japanese to English as the storytelling mat of bamboo. Uh, the gentleman used it to tell the story of two friends, the fisherman and the sea captain, and how their friendship came to be, and I fell in love with this thing. This is not a magic trick, it's magical, it's a storytelling medium. I am a storytelling large. <laughs> Extra large in some countries. <laughs> I was enthralled by this thing. It was it was pure magic to watch. And after his presentation, I asked him if he would teach me how to make one. He did. Forty-two pieces of bamboo cut, dyed, and tied together. He taught me the story in English and Japanese. But you're only hearing it in English tonight. You are so welcome. <laughs> My Japanese is uh, not good. It's one of my favorite stories to tell. And all good stories start with Once Upon a Time. Thanks. <laughs> Once Upon a Time. The captain of a sailboat took a journey down a river in the southern part of Japan. While on his journey, his ship passed under a bridge. And standing on the bridge was a fisherman doing what it is the fisherman does best. And feeling friendly, called out to the fisherman, uh, Ahoy there! How goes the fishing? The fisherman said, Today has been the best day of my life. Why? I caught the biggest fish I have ever caught. That's a claim. How good was the fish? Oh, you know. No, I don't. Well, it had to be that big. Now, I like to think that people all around the world have seen my show because I see this image on the back of a lot of cars. <laughs> That is the smartest joke I've ever written. Take your time with it. <laughs> now, if you ever think a magician is someone who is dishonest, find yourselves a fisherman and ask him or her about the day they caught the big fish. I guarantee you they are lying. Fishermen always lie. <laughs> the lies we make, you're friendly, welcoming, and kind. The fisherman is inviting the captain to his home so they can eat, drink, and share stories of the sea. His home looking something like this Shinto Japanese architectural style. After their meal, they venture to the fisherman's family shrine for a moment of prayer, silence, and reflection. And after prayer, returned home, ate, drank, and shared stories of the sea until the mighty sun set in the west. According to legend, their friendship remained for decades, but as it happens to all of us, their time came to an end. They let it be known that they were such good friends that they were to be buried side by side, so their friendship could last forever. They are buried together on a bluff, overlooking the beach, under the shade of a beautiful weeping willow tree. And let us be reminded, friends, that every day is precious. Live well, laugh often, and learn much. Thank you. storyteller from Osaka, Japan, named Hideo Hara. He became a friend uh, for many years until the not-so-recent passing. He worked with me on things that I didn't know I needed help with, one of which being respect. Respect for myself and others, other people's opinions and beliefs, even if those things differ than what I believe, and respect for the things that I own and choose to call mine. He gave me strict instructions in working with the reeds to treat them like a member of my family. And at the end of our time working together, he placed them away as if placing a loved one to sleep. That way, the next time we choose to work together, it is ready 
rested and prepared to once again tell its magnificent story. Thank you for watching. Go Motorbike.